Good evening, Miss Lily. Good evening, Patricia. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great. Es, Miss, fíjese que ayer no pude estar en la clase y quería preguntarle cómo encuentro el video porque lo estuve buscando en la lista de reproducción y no lo encontré. No lo encontró. Le voy a pasar el link a, en este momento ahí en el WhatsApp. Bueno, gracias. <risa> Good evening, Tony. Good evening. How, How are, are you? you? I'm fine. Are you? I, I'm fine. All right. Nice. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Welcome, Patricia. So how was your day, Tony? No escuché. How was your day? Sorry. How was your day? Uh, very nice. Okay, cool. Did you work? Very nice, very good. Okay. Uh, no. No work today. My, no. Okay. Hoy descanso, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, mi día libre. It's my free day. My free day, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. And how about Thanks. Esmeralda? Good evening, Esmeralda. Good how evening. are you? Fine, and you? Great. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Good. All right. Did you work? And no, no. No work? ¿Cómo okay. se dice, teacher, ¿cómo se dice antes que nada? Um, first of all. First of all, sorry for yesterday since I called not meet because I had another meet. Okay, I understand it, don't worry. I just sent the videos link to the group so you can search it there, okay? Yes, same. Okay, you're welcome. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Si tienen alguna pregunta, díganme y con gusto les ayudamos.
Good evening, Janet. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thanks. Excellent. Nice. How was work today? All good. All right. All good, teacher. <laughs> That's nice. So how's the weather over there? Is it raining where you are? Yes, it's raining. Yeah, it's raining here too. So are you <laughs> all from San Salvador? No, I live in Santa Ana. Oh, you live in Santa Ana, me too. Yes. <laughs> wow, I live yeah. in Soyapango. Okay, nice. And you, Tony? In I live in Metapan. In Metapan, okay. So there are some Santanecos over here. <laughs> That's cool. And Patricia? Patricia, where are you from? I am from in San Marcos. San Marcos, is that San Salvador? Yes, San Salvador. Oh, okay. That's very good. In you, teacher, where are you I'm, from? I'm from Santa Ana. Yes. Okay. So what do you do? From Santa Ana, I live mm -hmm. in San Salvador. No, I live in, in Candelaria de la Frontera. That's where I live. Ah. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of far, right? But yes, I live here. <laughs> How is the situation with the pandemic? Well, it's been, I mean, under control, I could say. There are some cases over here, but um, there isn't much of a um, problem or anything. Yeah. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Maybe. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good evening, Selena. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Thank you. And you? Nice. I'm great. Thank you for asking. Oh. Okay. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are How you are doing? You? Oh, great. Are you? I'm well. Thanks. Okay. Okay. So we're only a few so far. So how was work, Carlos? Hello? How was work? Um, good, good. Was good? All right. Yeah. Nice. What do you do? Um, uh, I don't know how to chat. Yeah, que se dedica? What do you do? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Um, um, account. Oh, okay. Account. You're an accountant. Okay, that's accountant, nice. Yeah. Wow, yeah. a lot of numbers going on. <laughs> yes, a lot of math. Mm. Okay. I like, I like, I like it so much. Wow, that's great. Oh, Hi, Gustavo. You. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Uh, sorry, I I came back home. Oh, oh no, really? oh, sorry. No, I no se dice así. I just came back home. Sí. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, permítame. Okay, um, no I'm, glad I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. Just give me a second, I need to check the chat because some people are writing.
Okay, good evening, Gerardo. Good evening, Jonathan. Hi, Tamara. Hello, Eden Nilsson. Welcome. Hi. How are you guys? How are you, Gerardo? Good, teacher. All right, nice. Glad to have you here. See, hello, Claudia. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. All right, that's nice. Welcome. Let's see, Miriam. How are you, Miriam? Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. That's Thanks. nice. I'm glad to hear you. Eden Nilsson, how are you? Eden Nilsson, we cannot hear you. He's maybe having trouble with the connection or something. So how are you, Tamara? Hi, uh, fine. All right, that's great. How was work? What? How was work? How was your day at work? ¿Cómo estuvo el trabajo? Um, so, so. <laughs> okay, so, so. <laughs> All right, so, well, we are going to start right now. We only have a few people connected, but still, we are going to start because it's time. So, welcome everybody to our fourth session, right? So the week, the week is almost over by now. We have already finished, well, almost finished our first week. So that's very nice. Congratulations to everybody for coming to here, right? And so we are going to start with our first activity. It's going to be count to 10. I'll explain how it goes. Vamos a, a tratar de contar desde el primero hasta el décimo, like first, second, third, and so on, but without following an order, pero no vamos a seguir ningún orden. Yo no le voy a decir a nadie que, que diga el número ni nada de eso, sino que simplemente necesito que cuando usted quiera decir un número, encienda su micrófono y lo diga. So, for example, digamos que Carlos enciende su micrófono y dice first. Luego Gerardo enciende el de él y dice um, second. Then Claudia says third, and so on. Sin seguir ningún orden, sin levantar la manita ni nada, solo enciende el micrófono, dice el número, pero no debemos decir el mismo número dos personas a la vez. If we say it, we are going to come back to the first number, okay? Si sí, coincidimos en que dos o tres personas dicen el mismo número, vamos a volver al primero, ¿ok? Ok. All right, let's try it. So let me start. First. Second. Ok, we got two people saying it. <laughs> Again, Diri first. Diri first. <laughs> ok. Fifth. Fourth. City nice. first. Nice. Okay, I think we got lost in some uh, of the numbers. <laughs> so let's see. Let's do it again. Let me start first. Second. Hmm? Fifth. Okay, I hear two people there. So again, <laughs> first. Okay. <laughs> Second. Second. Ah! <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the thing, right? <laughs> okay, again, one more time. First, second, third, twenty, 
<laughs> okay, remember you have to keep going, okay? We are counting from first to tenth. We follow the order. Seguimos el orden, first, second, third, and so on, okay? So we were in third, continue. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Sixth. Eleventh. Okay. Seven. All right, that's a repeated one. We were already in seventh. So one more time. Oh, no. First. Eight. It's okay. Again. Eight. First. Second. Mm -hmm. Third. Fourth. Four. Two people said it. Team. <laughs> okay, let's continue from third. Go ahead. Four. Fifty. My team. We were in seventh, so we missed the eighth. Okay, very good. So now let's move to remember that yesterday we were making some questions, right? And there were some people who didn't ask any questions. So now we are going to do that. Let's see. I remember that. Carlos participated, right? And Gerardo did. And who else participated yesterday? I yeah. Don't remember. Okay, so let's start with Esmeralda. Esmeralda, do you remember your question? No, not remember. Don't remember? Okay, I'm, go I'm going to be give you 20 seconds for you to remember about the question. Remember, you have to make a question, just whatever question that comes to your mind, and you are asking a classmate, okay? You got 20 seconds to okay. do this. Okay. Ese era de los adverbios, verdad? The who, and where, what? No. Yes, WH questions or yes, no questions. Whatever you prefer. Okay. Using going to. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, what, what are you going to tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? Who are you asking? Select a classmate, please. Ah, okay, okay. Um, Carlos, what are you going to tomorrow? I am I am I am going to the world the world office. Okay, very good. Thank you, Esmeralda. Thank you, Carlos. Next question. Um let's see, Selena. Uh, what are you going to do for birthday? What are you going to do for your birthday? Who are you asking? Choose a classmate, please. Janet. Well, for my birthday, I'm going to eat a cake. Okay, nice. Janet, ask your question to anybody here. Repeat again, please. Yes, ask your question to, to any of your classmates. Okay. Um, Claudia, are you tall? Remember to use going to, Janet? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Claudia, are you going to the church? Are you going to more? I are going are you going to go to the church tomorrow? For Claudia the question. Claudia? Okay, so maybe somebody else can answer. Let's see, Tony. Can you answer please? Are you going? Sure. Are you going? 
first you answer Janet's question. Janet, can you ask again, please? Um, are you going to the church tomorrow? So, Tony, are you going to go to the church tomorrow? I am going. I am going to the work. Okay. Now, ask your question to somebody in the group. Tony, do you have a question? Sorry, sorry. Are no you more. going? Are you going to tomorrow? Gerardo? Sorry, can you repeat that? Tony, please. Are you going to? Repite, Tony. Eh, no sé qué actividad quiere, quiere preguntar. Are you going to? Ahí agregamos la actividad de la que estamos preguntando. Oh, I see Tony is having trouble with the connection. Tony, are you here now? No escucho. Escucho muy bien, es bastante recio y el ruido de la lámina no me deja escuchar perfecto. Lo siento. Sí, it's okay, don't worry. Si veo acá que, que se nos va la conexión por momentos. So don't worry about it. Let's see, Gustavo, do you have a question for one of your classmates? Yeah, yeah, uh, of course. I have a question for you. Um, for me? Okay. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> Tell me. Yeah, it's the, what are you going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm going to have a meeting and I'm going to check some exams. Take some exams? Ah. Oh, check. Okay. I'm yeah. going to check some ah, exams. Check. Yes. Thanks, thanks. Ask me. All right. <laughs> so, Gustavo, yeah. are you going to eat pupusas tomorrow? Mm, no, no, I'm not going to eat pupusas. Um, I just ate pupusas. Así, ¿verdad? Oh, really? That's no. delicious. <laughs> uh, I just ate, ate but pupusas. I just ate. I just ate. ate. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I, I just ate pupusas. Um, For dinner. Um, three, uh -huh. <laughs> my dinner. Nice. All right, that's very nice. Okay, pretty good. Um, is there anybody who hasn't participated? Let's see, um, Patricia, have you asked? Uh, yes, um, I am, pregunta, verdad? Yes, go ahead. Um, are you, are you gonna, gonna, can I go uh, dance tomorrow? Okay, so let's see, Tamara, answer please. Are you going to go to dance tomorrow? No, I, I don't. I don't okay. go to, uh, it's, not, it's only, I don't, I don't know. Or I don't, <laughs> or I'm not. I'm not, I'm excuse me. I'm not, exactly. Okay, then Tamara, do you have a question for, let's see, Esmeralda? Okay, um, what are you going to do on Christmas night, Esmeralda? Esmeralda? Sí, Esmeralda? Okay, how about median? Okay. 
Okay, can you repeat, please? Um, I think Patricia, Patricia, nos puede repetir, please? Uh, are you gonna are you gonna go to dance tomorrow? No, I am not. Okay. I am going to I'm going to visit my family. Very good, okay. Miriam. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Patricia. So Miriam, ask the question yes. to to Gustavo. Are you going to have soap for breakfast? Repeat. Can you repeat again? Are you going to have soap for breakfast? Oh, soup for breakfast. Mm. Mm. Have breakfast. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think. Okay. okay. Uh, me, me pregunta que si voy a comer mi desayuno, algo así, le entendí. Are you going o to puede eat? Ayudarme? Yes, sure. Are you going to eat soup or to have soup? For breakfast, soup, sopa. Uh, what's, Are ah, you going soup. to have ah. soup for breakfast? Ah, mm -hmm. sopa. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. I'm not going. I'm not going to uh, soup. I'm not going to have have soup. Así se puede decir, ¿verdad? Exactly. Ah, ah, bueno. No. All, all right. Very nice. So thank you for for participating, everybody. Let's move on. So let's talk a little bit about special occasions. Let's see, what special occasions do you know? Any holidays or any anniversary or Christmas or any other special occasions that you know? A ver, vamos a hablar de ocasiones especiales. So what kind of special occasions do you know? Mm, okay. Valentine's. Valentine's Day. Valentine's, okay. Father's Day. Okay, so Father's Valentine's Day. Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. Independence Day. Independence Day. The Any others? What is it? Graduation. Graduation. Oh, graduation. Mm -hmm. Any other? Um, Halloween days. Halloween. Never see. Sorry? I never see. I never see. Oh, anniversary? Is that anniversary. what you... Anniversary, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yes, because anniversary. Thank you. Anniversary? Vacation week? Thanks. Thanksgiving? Uh, Thanksgiving and vacation week. You said, um, do you mean Easter? Se refiere a vacaciones de... ¿Qué pasa? De Pascua, de quién es? como la Semana Santa. Ah, vaya. Be Easter. ¿Easter? Uh -huh. Ah, it's a new word. Sure. Sure. Tell me. Una question. Uh -huh. My goodness. Uh, what do you say Semana Santa en español? That is the Holy Week. Or Holy Easter Week. week. We also call it Easter. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right? It's right. Sure. Holy Week. Like Thanks. Christmas, teacher. Christmas. Any others? Well, birthdays are also special occasions. Okay. Yeah. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Um, maybe in the case of the children, children's day, children's. children's day, yes, sí, así se dice el día del niño, yes, children's, children's day, day. Children's y mother, day. Y mother's, mother's day, día de la mamá, exactly, mm -hmm. no, was vacation, 
August vacation. Yes. Oh. So that would be here in El Salvador, right? August vacation or holidays. Let's call them holidays better. Teacher. Tell me. Um, y así como, por ejemplo, en español hay varios como día del psicólogo, día de médico. ¿Es, ¿Se podría decir como una especial ocasión o no aplica como tanto? Yes, they could be part of the special occasions, the psychologist day or the nurses day, the teacher's day. El día del trabajador. Ajá. October 1st, <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> okay, sure, why not, right? <laughs> okay, and then Dia del Trabajador, um, in English we have the Labor's Day. Labor's Day. Yeah. Labor's Day. Mm -hmm. Any other? Also, when you get married, that's a special occasion, a wedding, right? Sure. Día de la Cruz. The cross day, we could say it, we could cut it. Cross, like, eso es Wedding cruz, Spanish cross teacher. day. What is it? Wedding, Spanish. Wedding, boda. Oh. Y un cross day? Día de la Cruz. Ah. Cross day, Día de la Cruz, ajá. Uh -huh. Que eso sería traducido, porque en inglés pues no tenemos un Día de la Cruz como tal, pero sí, sería ¿Y Día de los Muertos o Día de los Difuntos? Como el Día de la Cruz, no, vamos, um, diferente. No, that would be like the All Saints Day, maybe. Este, sería lo mismo como el Día de los Santos, ¿cierto? Eh, the King's Day, the, the King's Day of Reyes Magos, creo. Yeah, the Three King's Day, that's another one. Mm -hmm. But I have a question. For example, eh, se supone que como esas son como celebraciones de acá, ¿verdad? Si en el, digamos, eh, se hablara fuera del país, se dice así, por ejemplo, eh, King's Days o siempre Día de los Reyes Magos, porque como es, no sé si contaría como nombre propio ya. Yeah. Sí, Or, de hecho, no. bueno, el Día de los Reyes Magos sí puede traducirse a otro idioma porque es algo eh, universal, universal, digamos. Ajá. Sí, entonces sí lo reconocen en inglés como Three Kings. Ah, okay. Sin embargo, eh, la mayoría de esos, por ejemplo, el Día de la Cruz, usted lo puede llamar en español y pues imagino que le van a preguntar qué es, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí explica porque son cuestiones ah. propias de nuestra cultura, ¿verdad? Right? Ah, okay. uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, welcome. So now that we have a list of special occasions, let's remember the, uh, the vocabulary Ms. and Lily. tell me. Sorry, sorry. Este, puede compartir todo ese vocabulario en, en el grupo. Sure, I can. I will do it after the Sure. Okay. I will do it after the class, right, okay? Thank you. All right. So okay. now okay. I need now I need to play the video. We are going to review the, the vocabulary for special occasions. I believe that most of you have um, already seen this video, but let's watch it one more time. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Graduation. Wedding. Anniversary. Send cards. Give presents. Take pictures. Sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food. Okay, so there we have some of the things that we can do on a special day. For example, send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, and eat special food. Now repeat, please. Send cards. Send cards. Send cards. Send cards. Send cards. Give presents. Give presents. Give presents. Take pictures. 
Take pictures. Take pictures. Take pictures. Sing songs. Sing songs. songs. Dance. 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 Eat cake. Eat cake. Eat cake. Eat cake. Eat cake. Eat cake. Have a party. Have, Have a party. party. Have a picnic. Have a, Have a picnic. A picnic. Eat special food. Eat special, Eat special food. food. Eat special Are food. we? Are we clear about all of that vocabulary? No sé si tenemos alguna duda con respecto a este vocabulario. No, teacher. No? No. Okay, very good. So now, let me go back to the slides. Teacher. Okay, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Toda, ahora, no sé, también se le ve como borrosa la pantalla. Really? And now with the, with the slides too. Se ve borroso la, la presentación, se ve borrosa. Yes. Sí, ya. Yeah. Sí. Yeah. Oh, it's made no of Y también la presentación del vocabulario. No Ahorita sé si, se, si se, se lo yo. Cuadro. <coughs> ok, let me see. Oh, Hace rato se veía bien clarito cuando se acercaba y ahorita no. Ya no se ve bien. How about now? Yeah, yes, yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Better. All right. Thank yeah. you. So let's see. Now that wow. we have studied the vocabulary in the special occasions, we're going to have a little work to do. This is going to be a little homework. Vamos a tener una pequeña tarea para poner en práctica un poquito de las special occasions and also to use be going to. Vamos a hacer un plan para una, una fecha especial o algún holiday que sea pronto. Usted puede escoger, eh, it could be Mother's Day, Father's Day, any anniversaries, maybe friendship anniversary or relationship anniversary, it could be your wedding anniversary, just, um, or maybe some of your relatives and um, birthday. So you choose the occasion and then you are going to make a plan using the vocabulary on section number 113. And also, you are going to include some of the ideas that I, that I suggest. So here we have, what are you going to celebrate? So first of all, you choose an occasion. For instance, un ejemplo podría ser Mother's Day. So, so you say, I'm going to celebrate Mothers. Mother's Day. And then when is Mother's Day? It's on May. May. May 10th. May 10th. Exactly. And then you can include some other ideas like who are you going to invite? Give me an example. I am, I am, I, I am going to invite my family. My family. Yeah. My family? Okay. I am going to all my family. Invite all, all my, my family. family. Very good. Then you can maybe add where are you going to go or where are you going to make the party? Mm -hmm. uh, I am, we, my yeah, we going to go to the party. My friends. Okay, my family and friends. My house. So the party Where is going to be going? in my house. The party is going to be in my house. And then you keep on adding some more ideas. What are you going to do? Well, we are going to eat chicken and um, what? Rice. We are going to drink some soda. We are going to have some champagne, maybe. So you keep on adding some oh, ideas, oh. then we are going to play some games or you decide, oh, here, I forgot. Also, um, something to take it into account. Creo que no les había mencionado. Los meses se escriben también con mayúscula, okay? Siempre en inglés, días de la semana y meses van con inicial mayúscula. Okay. So that's what you have to do. Choose a holiday or a special occasion, and then you make a paragraph like this one. 
un parrapito pequeño eh, con el que pueda hablar alrededor de 30 segundos, un minuto como máximo. So that's for Monday, please. Okay. okay. Any questions? Yes. No questions. Teacher. One word uh, for Monday, teacher? For Monday? Yes, it's for Monday. Okay, okay teacher. All right. So now let's right. check the lesson objectives uh, for question, teacher. Sorry, can you repeat that? A question, teacher. Tell me. Eh, en la tarea no es necesario escribir las preguntas, ¿verdad? Solamente es hacer el, el pequeño para ti. Exactly. Sí, no es necesario que vaya haciendo pregunta por pregunta, sino que un párrafo completo. Ahí va añadiendo nada más las ideas que ahí le doy. Ok. All right. Mm -hmm. y, yeah. Eh, teacher, eh, eh, Miss Lily. Tell me. Este, eh, ¿A dónde vamos a poner ese párrafo? Oh, you write vamos it. vamos a poner así, speaking. Yeah, you write it, and then in the class, we are going to read it. So each of you is going to have a chance to read it. Mm -hmm. in, in the class that we are going to have on Monday, okay? All right, any other questions? No more. No, teacher. No okay. More. All right, thanks. So now let's talk about today's lesson objective. So by the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which il illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So we are going to talk a little bit about parts of the body, first of all. Let me get the beat. Okay, so please pay attention to the vocabulary and if you have any questions, remember that you can make them at the end of the, of the video, after the video is done. No sé si ven bien. Se ve borroso. Mm. Bien borroso. Siempre, really, ¿Cómo siempre se, dice? se ve borroso. Eh, borroso. Blurry? Blurry. Or blurry. 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 Yes. Or, ay, se me escapa la otra palabra. I'm going to tell you later, okay? So, um, let's see. I'm going to play it because we need to listen to the pronunciation. And then I also have the list of words in the slides. So we are going to review them there. So now just listen. Right, listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth. Chin. Back. Shoulder. Chest. Stomach. Throat. Neck. Wrist. Arm. Elbow. Thumb. Hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this book. Okay, so there we had the parts of the body. Let me go back to the presentation. Okay, so here we have them. We have head, you know, the head, right? Head. Eye. Head. Eye. Eye. So maybe you can touch your parts of the body while we are reviewing them if you'd like to. So we have head. Head, head please. Head. Eye. 
Yeah. Eyes. Eye. And then eyes. Eyes. both of them are eyes, right? We say eye, eye. and eye. eyes. Eyes, 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 ear, ear, nose, nose, mouth, 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 es importante el sonido final porque si no estamos diciendo como mouse, right? Mouse y ratón, so no. Mouse, 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 mouse. Okay, then inside our mouths we have tooth. Tooth is only one, okay? And tooth, but we have many teeth. 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 Okay, then we have thumb. 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 Okay. Thumb. Hand. 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 In our hands, we have fingers. Hand. Fingers. 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 Then we have the legs. Piernas. Legs. 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 The knee, que acá tengo un errorcito, esa debería de ser E. Déjenme corregirlo. Oh. So, the knee, rodilla, right? Knee, it's double E. Okay. There we are. Knee, then we have ankle. Ankle. Ah. Ankle. 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 And then we have foot. Uh -huh. Foot. 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 And feet. And feet. 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 Foot is only foot. one. Foot. One foot. Foot. And both of them foot. are called feet. feet. That's the plural. Feet. Feet. Mm -hmm. feet. And then feet. the fingers feet. of the feet are feet. called toes. Esos no los llamamos fingers, los llamamos toes. 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 Toes.
Y what is the difference? What is it, the difference in uncle primo y uncle in oh, the pronunciation? They sound similar, but ankle, this one, the part of the body, is with an open A, ankle, ankle. Es como una más marcada la de ankle de tobillo. Ankle. Y la otra es okay. uncle, uncle, okay? My uncle and yes. then we have ankle, uh, ankle. Esta sí sería, uh, digamos, como una A normal, por decirlo así, como una A en español, uncle. más o menos. En la de tío sí es, no es una A exactamente, sino que es un sonido parecido, pero eh, sí se dice un poquito distinto. Ankle. 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 Oh, ankle. 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 Uncle. Uncle. Si escuchamos Uncle. ahí es una Uncle. diferencia un poquito Uncle. pequeña, pero sí. Sí la hay. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? No sé si tenemos más preguntas. No. And no. Okay. If so, you give us a recommendation. Uh, uh, to memorize the uh, vocabulary para que no se don't forget it, para no olvidarlo. Oh, sure, Porque so, el, uh -huh. I mean, try to practice as much as you can. De repente cuando se recuerde, eh, dígalo en inglés, usted solito ahí, head, eye, ear, and so on. Ahí póngase a practicar y también voy a buscarles un par de ejercicios donde puedan practicar, ¿ok? Les voy a enviar ahí en el, okay. en el chat para que Gracias. puedan seguir practicando esto, ¿ok? All right, any other questions? No more. My, me, teacher. Tell me. Um, team, team, Spanish. Team. What is it? Team, right? Team. team. Right. team. No. Okay. Team. Mm -hmm. okay. Eh, esta, okay. chin, es quijada. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. okay. This part of the body. Thank you. Okay. So, let's continue with a little conversation. Sorry, I'm just taking notes so I don't remember to, to give you the exercises. So, so, let's see. Here I have a conversation for you to practice. Let me read it one time. And then I'm going to send you to breakout rooms so you can practice it. So we have, hey Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why, what's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at a new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation? Um, I, the pronunciation of bacache. Oh, backache. Back back cake. Headache. Como back cake. cake. Eh, parecido, sí, como lleva una C antes, suena como cake. Backache. Esta terminación, A-C-H-E, -A -E, se pronuncia como uh -huh. ache, ache, headache, 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 uh -huh. headache, backache, backache, ¿ok? Ok. Y luego se puede, uh -huh. the meaning is a pain, dolor, dolor, dolor de cabeza, okay. dolor de espalda, you can also use it with earache or toothache, Se puede utilizar en distintas formas o para las distintas partes del cuerpo, ¿ok? Uh, uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, ok. So, so, uh, okay is the meaning dolor. Dolor. Ache. Ache, dolor. Uh -huh. Independientemente de la palabra del cuerpo que le pongamos. Uh -huh. um, sí, se puede utilizar con varias partes del cuerpo, uh -huh. no con todas. De hecho, ya vamos a hablar uh -huh. un poquito más de, de eso. Pero sí, hay varias okay. con las que se puede usar. Headache, backache, earache, toothache. 
Eh, ajá, para otras sí tenemos, por ejemplo, sore throat, que sería dolor de garganta. Esa se utiliza normalmente de esa forma, sore, que también es otra palabra para dolor. Sore throat. Sí. Ajá. Ya vamos a, a llegar también a esa parte eh, donde vamos a hablar un poquito más de, las, de los síntomas y las enfermedades. So we can extend the vocabulary, right? So any other questions about the conversation? Hey. Yes, it's a question. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. I like fancy. Fancy? Yes. Fancy. I like, I like I little, a little fancy. Exactly. A little homesick. Eso sería, eh, bueno, para la palabra homesick no hay una traducción exacta en español. Pero es una palabra que se utiliza para describir el sentimiento o la forma en que uno se siente cuando ha salido de su casa o de su país de repente. Por ejemplo, yo me fui para, eh, para China. Entonces, me tengo que estar en China un año y allá por los dos meses yo estoy homesick porque ya extraño la comida, extraño a mi mamá, extraño a mi papá. Ya quiero estar en mi casa de nuevo, quiero eh, tener mi, mi cama, extraño todo lo que tengo como en casa. Como nostalgia. Ay, Se puede decir like como that. algo nostálgico. Exactamente, okay. algo ah, parecido a la nostalgia. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. okay teacher. Thank you. Is it clear? And then also, let me tell you about the word actually. Con la palabra actually, hay que tener mucho cuidado porque no significa actualmente como de repente se nos viene a la mente, ¿verdad? Sino que eh, en este caso, por ejemplo, oh, I'm so good. I'm not so good actually. De hecho, no estoy muy bien. Okay. De hecho, es como para asegurarlo, pero no significa como en este momento ni nada por el estilo, ¿ok? Actually, en realidad, o de hecho, ¿ok? Ok. Uh -huh. Any other questions? No more. Ok, so I'm going to send you, let me just check the chat. Ok, Claudia, there's no problem. Right, so let me send you to the breakout rooms and um, you're going to have one minute to practice the conversation. We are going to make pairs, okay? Let me see. So. Okay, there we are. So please accept the invitation. Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, hi, Janet. Are you in any of the breakout rooms? No quedó en ningún breakout room. Eh, iba para el grupo C, se supone, y de allí... Mire, oh, entré y iba a regresar. Uh -huh. Oh, I moved you. Sí, es que la moví porque se me había quedado solita, entonces la moví para el 5, pero no le quedó. <laughs> No le quiero quitar la invitación. Ok, let me send you again. Ok. La voy a volver a mandar. There we are. No sé si ya, ya le cayó la invitación. Bueno, mm. Nada. Ok, this is weird. <laughs> Yay. And now. No, not yet. Come on, no. No sé qué pasa la 
ya la moví como en tres y no sé. How about now? No teacher. No, oh my gosh. No. Okay, so just give me a second. I'm going to check with your classmates and I'm going to come back to practice with you, okay? All right, okay. sorry about that. Don't worry. Well, I have a um, headache. Head, head, um, okay. Okay. Maybe you have the flu? No, I think I just feel a little uh, homesick for Japan. See, how are you? Oh. I am not so good at quality. Hola. Hola. Um, hi, Gabriela. What happened? Creo que la compañera tiene problemas con el con internet. Ay. Sí, está un poquito mala conexión ahora. Creo que por la lluvia, ¿verdad? Está un poco. Sí, bueno, no me escucha. Ok, but we are going to get back in just a couple of seconds. En un par de segundos volvemos. Así que, tranquila. Ya practicaron un poquito. No. Not yet. Ok. Nada. Don't worry, we are going to practice all together. Está lloviendo muy fuerte y se corta la... All right, guys. So, did you practice the conversation? Yeah. Yes, teacher. All right. Yeah. That's yeah. Nice. Okay. So, it's actually time to leave now. So, we're going to continue with this practice on Monday. Remember about the homework and have a really nice weekend. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Take care, everybody. Remember to work in the platform, okay. please. Recuerden avanzar en plataforma. Yeah. El tema de ahora ya es de la sección 2. Así que debemos haber terminado al menos la sección 1, sí, ¿ok? So please, try to keep on yeah. going. Ok, have a good night. Okay. Take care, bye-bye. Bye, bye. 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 Take care. Bye, everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.